Oh, hey, how you doing? Just Joe here, taking a little drive down uh, Southern California Highway, getting ready to pick up a uh, black Trans Am in the trailer back there. Thought I'd bring you along for a ride. Sure is a nice day. Oh look, the Pacific Ocean. Mm. Anyways, thought I'd give you guys an update on the semi. I've been, you know, letting the camera roll as I do additional work, getting it ready to, uh, you know, be unveiled again. So in this video, we're going to go over a few things that you might find interesting. Probably not, but we'll go over it anyways. So first thing we're going to do is restore the door panels. So as you remember, the door panels were kind of crusty, pretty much like everything in this truck. And uh, after that, we're going to start work on repairing the headliner board. So following that, we're going to take some of these interior panels and get them cleaned and repainted. And then finally, we're going to get some of this dashboard reinstalled. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and you're along for the ride. All right. Well, it's about 150 degrees in here. So I think I'm going to let you go. Welcome to Night Rider Historians. Oh crap, it's stuck. Alright, so now we're going to start on restoring the door panels of the truck. These are, as far as we know, 100% original. This is the passenger side door panel. And we're going to completely disassemble it. We're going to get this carpet cleaned. As you can see right here, mice um, like to nest right here. So this is kind of disgusting. So the plan is we're going to pull this carpet out, clean it, and then reinstall it. And we've got some of our uh, Turtle Wax upholstery cleaner, some heavy duty Gorilla Glue spray adhesive, and hopefully between those two things and some elbow grease, we'll be able to uh, get this thing looking like brand new and keep it all original. So the first thing we need to do is get this carpet removed. Now, um, there's a backer board behind here, as you can see, and it's held in by these uh, push-in whatever you call these things, these push-in clips. Um, so I went ahead on the back side and I pushed all of the clips up to make this loose. So we got this loose and then this emblem right here was held on with these little uh, lock washers or lock nuts. So I got those off because those are a bit of a pain. So. With that done, we'll take the emblem off. So we got that emblem. And take a look at this. This is pretty cool. Look, there's what the carpet looked like new versus what it looks like now. Isn't that crazy? That's what 35 years will do. All right, so let's see if we can carefully separate. Oh yeah, this comes right off. Because we're gonna reuse this carpet, believe it or not. Why? Because it's original and it's really not in bad shape and I think a good cleaning and uh, we'll be in good shape with this. It'll look like new. There we go. That uh, actually couldn't have been easier, but yeah, you can see right there the mouse poop and the glue residue there. So we'll put that off to the side for now. So now we've got this board with some junk on it. Let's uh, put that in the trash. There we go. So the backer board's in excellent, excellent shape. So we're gonna certainly be reusing that. This clip came out right here. So 
see if we can get it put back in. There we go. So that just needs this uh, inner piece cleaned, as you can see. And that'll be good. So let's set that aside. And so this material up here is actually in really nice shape. I'm thinking I'll probably just uh, see if I can pop the window switch off. And uh, maybe we can just clean this and leave it at that. Let's see what we can do here. Does this window switch pop out easily? And the answer is yes. There she be. So I should probably keep track of what side is up, huh? Yeah. So it's a little worn, as you can see, but that might clean up all right. Again, um, we're not going for showroom condition. We want to use as many, reuse as many pieces as we can, original pieces. So with all that, let's see what this says. Shake well, spray evenly, rub into foam, allow to soak. Let's just see what happens. Oh, it smells worlds better. Too bad you can't smell. So we're gonna let that soak for just a minute. Yeah, I don't know if you could see. We definitely picked up some dirt. Let's get this wiped down here. See how it looks. Bring you in closer. I don't know if you can see, but uh, the carpet, just one quick scrubbing, that carpet looks brand new. And really, this cleaned up nice. Stuff to get down in here. But look at that. Now, of course, you can see this is where the window switch is. You can see the fabric was slightly darker than it currently is, but I'll tell you what, that is impressive. That looks really, really nice. Okay, we're now 24 hours later. What I did was I took this carpet and basically I took my garden hose and I just sprayed the crap out of it. So remember that area that was um, all disgusting? Now it's all clean. So I sprayed it yesterday, I let it hang in the sunshine. It's now nice and dry. And now we can, um, get it glued back to this backer board. So, I guess step one is to get this sprayed. So I bought this uh, Gorilla Glue, which I showed you already, and we're gonna see if we can just get this re-adhered. The directions say to let it sit to get tacky. So while that's doing that, spray this.
once this is all re-adhered, we'll get uh, the shop vac and we'll get the carpet cleaned a little bit. All right, we are going to let that dry. And then once that's dry, we'll get it cleaned up and put back on the door panel. I suppose we can go ahead and put this back on while we're waiting. Now, some of you are probably asking, Geez, Joe, why didn't you clean your surface so you didn't have all that dirt and debris on your workbench, you know, before putting the carpet on it? And the answer is real simple. You know, I was just lazy and I didn't do it. So, you know what that means, that's extra work for me later. That's all right. All right, so there we go. Emblem back in place, we're gonna let this dry and then we'll get it hooked back up to the door panel. Well, we got the door panel about as clean as it can get. This carpet up here, and really, you know, this carpet here, you wouldn't believe it, but it actually smells good. I scrubbed it with this, and scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed, and I gotta say, it turned out pretty good. Yeah, there's some scratches and some other marks on the door panel that won't come out, but that's okay, we're not going for showroom condition. We're restoring what's original and making it look as good as we can, but we wanna keep as many original parts on this as possible. But you just not would not believe this smell. So I'm gonna bring you in, take a sniff. How'd that smell? Pretty good, huh? How about up here? Oh yeah, you like that, I know you do. So, now that we got that clean, we are going to get this put back in place and snapped back in carefully. Well, what do you think? Fully cleaned up and ready to be reinstalled. Now we just have to do the other one. And here's our completed door panel, the finished one, the passenger side one. And just for a comparison, here's the driver's side, which we still have to do. Look at the difference in the, the top fabric. Look at the difference in the color from scrubbing versus non-scrubbing. And take a look at the carpet and how it's all peeling back versus after we cleaned and re-glued. Big, big difference. So this one's next. And both door panels are now completely restored. As you can see, there was a world of difference. We got the carpeting all glued down on both of them. We got it scrubbed. It actually looks almost brand new. There are some scuffs on the doors, but um, you know, we're just gonna leave it like that because we want to keep the original doors. You know, it's part of the history of the truck. So, uh, like I said, we're not going for a perfect restoration. We just want it to be clean and mouse poop free. So here we have the headliner out of the Knight Rider Semi. And as you can see, uh, mice have decided to take pieces of this and turn it into their home. There's obviously a big chunk that they took out here. Chunk over here, the corner and whatnot. So normally we wouldn't reuse a piece like this. However, there are currently no companies out there that make reproduction headliner backer boards for the GMC General. So we are left with having to reuse this. So what we're going to do is we are going to coat this uh, with some fiberglass mat to bring back some of the strength and what we'll do is we'll cover these areas with fiberglass mat, and then once that's dried, we'll flip it over and we'll fill in the underside with 
um, probably like an expanding foam, something like that, that we can fill that in and smooth it out. And then once we get all that done and protected, then we'll clean up the other side and uh, put in the new headliner, the vinyl headliner um, fabric, and then uh, reinstall this in the truck. Fortunately, um, you know, mice were involved in uh, the headliner, but um, I think if I coat this in fiberglass and give the other side a cleaning that will stand a chance at kind of getting that smell sealed up. It really doesn't smell too bad, but um, you know, since we have to reuse it, we want to do what we can to make sure some of that smell doesn't, you know, come down into the cab. So let's get started. So I guess the first thing we'll do here is get some of our mat out. So next up, we're going to start working on some of the interior panels. So this is the passenger side dash cover. So as you can see here, it's got a lot of wear. This is actually after we washed it. So all of this here is the coating wearing off. I guess, well, the paint. It's the paint wearing off. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this disassembled. We've uh, got a plan here to get this general emblem replaced. And then we're going to get this uh, prepped painted and of course the emblem is turning as I turn this the nut and I believe there's just one star left here so let's get that off so this went from a five star general to a one star owl that's all right all right now let's see if we can get this uh trim piece out. So that's going to need a little restoration. We do have some wear here in the corner, but uh, we'll make that look about as good as we can here. Let's see if we can get this vent out. There we go. Get that cleaned up. It's in good shape. We can reuse that. Like I said, we're going to have to source the other one, but this is now completely disassembled. Now we can clean it up in here behind where that trim piece was and get it painted. So I'm getting ready to paint this one panel and I wanted to show you a technique that's worked really, really well for me in the past. I've done this on many interior panels of cars over the years and they've all turned out really well and they've held up really well. So the first thing I do is I pressure wash the piece if I can. If not, I just get some hot soapy water. I use Dawn dish detergent and I scrub it and I scrub it and I scrub it and I rinse it and I let it thoroughly dry. Once it's dry, I use this Bulldog Adhesion Promoter and I give it a nice coating of this and then I let it dry for about 10 minutes. So let's get started.
Okay, we've let this sit for about 10 minutes and now we're gonna spray a color coat on. Um, I had paint uh, specifically matched to these panels, so it's gonna come out looking like brand new. So let's give it a shot. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoy it. My favorite part is just pretending to drive with this mouse crap covered steering wheel. As always, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. More updates soon on the semi. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> And now, while we listen to Joe's selection of Knight Rider music that we received directly from Don Peak himself, we'd like to thank these Patreon supporters. Look at you guys scrolling up the screen to my right. Wait a minute, how can you tell which side is my right since you can't see me because I'm not on camera? Oh well, you know what I mean. We're featuring these fine supporters at our Knight Rider prop restorer level. Thank you very much for your support. And for those of you at the Knight Rider History Hunter level, we're recognizing you right now in the description. Now, if you enjoyed seeing this golden nugget of Knight Rider history being rescued from obscurity, then please consider supporting us on Patreon. Your support would empower us to bring you even more of these historical nuggets. We are the Knight Rider Historians. Till next time, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.